This is KB, and welcome to Vanilla Minecraft. This is episode 3, and before we get into the plans of today, in the last episode, I made this beauty. And it is Efficiency 4 and Breaking 3 and Fortune 2. First thing we're going to do in this episode is test it out, but... Is it already... T oh, it was used previously and then I enchanted it. I thought I already tested it, but I didn't use it. Now, in this episode, I want to get started with some automation. I want to semi-automate a leather farm and then make a fully automated sugar farm. Might not be lossless, but it should be decent because the plan is to make make a lot of books for enchanting. So that's what the plan is today. Um, so I want to change these walls, so let's test this. Oh, that's so close to insta mining. Let's just balance it out. Some detail work, I guess. Okay, let's get some sleep and then we get going. So I think, let's think. I have the cows ready, so let's start with that. Let's start with the cow farm. Okay, I did a quick trip to the nether just to get some soul sand. I could have used sand, but yeah. The design I'm going to be using now is from a rabbit s'more. It's one of his designs. And it's nice and compact. I like it. So I'm going to build it over here because I don't want the cow noises everywhere. And this is how it works. So the first thing is we need... Okay, first let's make a... Seriously? A crafting table. Then... Let's do that. One, two, three, four. Okay, so first thing you need is your output chest. And then you get two hoppers going into that chest. Then on top of that, you will place the soul sand. Around it, we're going to place building blocks. And then do I have... Oh, I don't have glass. Let me quickly get some glass. I have the glass, so this is how he explains it. I'm gonna do a quick build as well. So he places glass like that. You have a, another piece of glass at the front and then you just build it up. And then this becomes a, um, a chamber where the baby cows will go. I don't have ladders, not gonna make some now. Then what you want to do is get some signs. And place your first sign at the bottom there, and the second one at the back. Then you want to go onto this block, and you want to make a platform around it. Because th this block here is where the adult cows will be standing. So now we just build this up, like that, go up another layer, and close that up, so that there is a space for the baby cows to come through. So now all we need to do is to fill this up, and that should almost be it. Okay, so this, again, this is the compartment where the adult cows will be, as he explains it. This one, he makes glass, I see, so that the baby cows don't get uh, damaged if, if they move through here. And now what I need is to get some water. So let me, let me place this sign over there, which will stop the water. Uh, give me a second to go grab some water. I collected water and I found the lava I will need. So let's get it into the system and then we can load up the cows. So water goes right here. It uh, shoves the baby cows down there. And then the lava 
you place over there. So now, that should be it. So the baby cows will be here, when they grow up, they will burn with lava and you will get the drops. Leather and cooked beef into the bottom there. The other thing it does is change, it changes this to a, a piston, which I think, yes, let's do that. Let's quickly, now I need to remember how to make a piston. I always get these two wrong. There we go. We have a piston, and I already have a lever. I'm gonna have to sacrifice the glass. Place you there. And then we have a lever. Which will shove them forward if they get stuck at the back. And that is the whole system. So what I'm gonna do, just some aesthetic work. And then... Now we need to load up the cows. Let's do it. Let's do it. Over here, Mr. Cows. We're moving you to your permanent home. I will make sure to feed you a lot. And let's hope this goes quick. Okay. The first volunteer... Volunteer is up. And now we just need to get you in there. Come on, Mr. Cow. It won't hurt you. Okay, now we have all of them up here. I, I just need to make sure not to shove them off. Because then they'll get fall damage. Come on, dudes. <laughs> go. You can do it, Mr. Cow. There we go. One is in. I just realized that if I really want this farm to work well, I'm going to need to make a wheat farm as well. Because obviously I'll need some wheat. Uh, and once we have a... Come on, dude. Well, there's your first example of how it works. Thanks for your service, Mr. Cow. We have leather and steak. Okay. I cannot waste this cow. <laughs> I need you to go in there, Mr. Cow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think the, guy, the, the cow in there is not helping this. Don't want milk. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get this dude in there. I managed to get them in there. I just had to remove the water. So now I can... Place it back in there, and there we go. So, when I feed them now, they'll get their hearts, they will uh, breed, and the baby cows will go through into the bottom and when they become grown-ups they will burn and we will have steaks and leather okay so let me clean up and then we get wheat and I'll demonstrate nicely this looks ugly I'll definitely need to make this look better but we can remove this for now and this went way quicker than I thought so we'll give this a good test and then we can move on to the, the automated sugar cane farm. At the start of this episode I said sugar farm, which technically is correct, but we want sugar cane for paper, not sugar. Let's get some wheat and we can fully test the steak cooker. I have the wheat we need to test the steak cooker. The cow farm, the leather farm, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to sacrifice this first one as a demonstration. So now there's no more hearts and the baby should have gone through. There we go. Full demonstration. But for now, I'm going to have to clog up that hole. Because we want to first make a bunch of cows in here. Right up to before 
entity cramming so that we can have a lot of cows and speed this process up now th the next thing i want to do is just make this look a little bit better i'm cooking up some stone so we can make some stone slabs um maybe we can add some spruce into it just ooh, that goes down just to make this look better than this uh, the cobblestone is quite ugly um i'll make a quick design and then most likely change it down the line maybe i'll make a bigger leather farm if i need it i'm not sure if i need it um yeah so let me let me change the design up and then we can move on to making a sugarcane farm that makes it look a little bit better still ugly though um but it's a little bit better and i have a ladder to go up and then i get to the top and then i can feed these dudes but still have to wait some more time for that um that'll do off camera get this running a hundred percent i want to just close that up to protect the dudes inside from these corners i don't know if zombies i don't think they do anything to animals but maybe there's another animal that can come and kill it um so that's an ugly block when i get inspired i'll i'll fix that up make that look good next time to make an automatic sugarcane farm so for this i'm gonna need some observers i'm gonna need some pistons i'm gonna need some water uh, i think i'll need a hopper into a chest yes so let me get what i need i'll meet you at the back you can go so long i'll meet up with you at the back and then we can make a automated sugarcane farm so i'm not meeting you at the back i've been collecting a few items and i decided it would be better if i have like an industrial area um so that all of my systems the automated systems will be together so i have a few items on me in case i need wood let me grab some so now it's time to actually build the the auto automated sugarcane farm um before we do that just give you a quick look here it's not looking brilliant but i just started adding some andesite and some gravel playing with that design idea um it's not usually what i do but it does make things look a little bit better so i'm definitely gonna do that and i'm thinking if the farm is there i'll put the sugarcane farm just on this side so let's say one two three four five spaces so we'll start building over here then there's five spaces you know what let's go more one two three four five six seven place so then there's one two three four five six seven yes so that gives us a nice thick space to make a road if we want um the block palette i chose to use is the stone bricks I'm gonna go with some stone bricks but now already uh have to think about this design it's a design i've used in the past i don't know who to give credit to um but i found it on youtube as with most of the designs i use but what i want to do is build it myself without really getting any help or reference from youtube because i want to learn how to actually do these things so it's gonna give me a headache but i'll eventually figure it out so now what i want is an observer so let me make one observer and then one piston so i want to test this before i actually build this i need to get my buckets don't want to waste iron so the water will go in here not there the water will go in here which will have a stream up to somewhere over here with a piston and storage then that will be the level there where the piston will be I need to 
I shouldn't dig that out. I should dig this out. This is where the water goes, because that is where the sugar cane goes. Then it can grow one, two, where the piston is. And then we have an observer. Do I place it from... I should place it from this side, because that is the face. This will give a signal, so I'm guessing I need to insert the signal into the block. But we'll have to find out. Let me let me run and get my get some water. And then we can figure out. I'm gonna build one so we can see how it works, and if it works, then I'll finish the rest of it. I'm back, place some water. I'm gonna try letting it flow to the middle. Then I'll have the hopper into a chest. We'll see if that works, but let's test this out first. Get some sugar cane. Okay, so yes, it has to, obviously, send out a redstone signal. Now watch me suffer. <laughs> Try to figure this out. Uh, I'm gonna have to go sleep, and then we'll come figure this out. I made another bed, got some wool, so I don't need to run up and down. Where were we? We were figuring out some redstone. So I need the signal to go into... Can I? So again, like I said, I'm gonna suffer through this, so you're gonna suffer watching me. Okay, that's not a thing. So, getting the signal back in... If I just get the signal into this block, that should power it, right? There we go. And it flows to the middle. I'm wondering, the objects float in this update. Would it still work, though? This was an easy fix. Okay, so... What I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do it off-camera off quickly. Fill up these with pistons and fill up with observers. And then we can see how it works. Right, so we have all of the pistons. And then we place all of the observers. So as I understand, this... Ooh, is this still gonna work? So as I understand, this is not a lossless system, which means I'm gonna lose some of the sugarcane. Some of them will land over there. I'm gonna build a glass something here. To make sure I don't lose all of it. But now I need to see. It does trigger it. So this is not going to be the fastest system. But it's going to be, be automated. That's what I want. For the start. Uh, I can expand this up to a certain point, And then it won't work further than that. Maybe I'll figure that out. But for now. This is. The automated sugarcane farm. Let's make. A hopper, I need a chest. Make a hopper. And I need more wood for another chest. So what I want to do is place the hopper down there. And then add a chest at the bottom there. Nope, that's the wrong slot. So I'll need to get more wood. To make another chest. But in theory that should do it. So I have the chest I will need to finish up there. But now I'm just going to get some sand. Um, I don't want to remove too much from here. Because I don't know what I want to do yet. Do you know what? It's not really a problem. Uh, we need to make some glass. To... Add into the sugarcane farm, and then I want to just make the sugarcane farm look a little better. And I'm gonna give another attempt uh, at trying to improve the look of the leather farm. Well, that yeah, that that should do it for now. I need to find a desert. 
so that I can travel there and be able to mine a lot of sand. That is, that's, that's on the list to do. So, I made some white stained glass, because honestly, normal glass looks ugly. And then I've got di some different stones, designs, and andesite, and gravel here. Play around with that. Just to make these look a little bit better. The road I'm not going to figure out now, because I need to figure out what else I'm going to build. Then I'll worry about something like that. So, first things first, we have to insert that. Let's test this out. It works. Okay, cool. Um, giving this a good test. You see that? That's the problem. The sugar cane that goes over there, but some of it goes in there. I might lose a little bit of it. Hmm. That 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 I'll have to think about that. How to sort that out. So what I want to do at the front is, let's get the stone bricks. Add some of that in here. So then I, I can place the glass. Oh, that's a waste. Maybe not, maybe not. Because I do want to add in a double chest. Uh, add some glass, add some more glass, yes. I, I really like the white stained glass when I'm working with um, the stone colors. That should do it. That should be fine. And then we can leave a little bit corner. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna have to play around with this design to get something that looks good. Um, we'll add that. I'll definitely have to add another level there, because the sugar cane will shoot, and then... Don't want it to overshoot here. But yes, now I just need to play around with designs and find something that works, something that looks good. Uh, that works in this area, I'll have to cover this up nicely. I'm going to play around a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I've made a little bit of an improvement in the design. It's starting to look better than this. I still need to improve that. But... The problem is... I ran out of time. So at least in this episode, we got a semi-automated leather farm, which I still need to fill up with some more cows. That's why the glass piece right at the top there is in. I'll take... Uh, no, it's not a glass. It's below the glass piece. And then we made a automated sugarcane farm, which it's not lossless, but it's not bad. But as the sun sets, I'm going to have to end this episode. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.